Hi everybody, this is Gail Vihar from momandcamera.com here recording a video for Pretty Presets about how to make a watermark. Um, this is something that I think is fun that I get asked frequently how to do, so we're going to do a tutorial today. First of all, in Lightroom, to create a watermark, we're going to go up to the Edit menu. I'm on a PC. If you're on a Mac, then I believe it's under the Lightroom menu. And we're going to come down here to the bottom where it says Edit Watermarks and click on that. Now we can have two types of watermark. We can have a text watermark or we can have a graphic watermark. We're going to start with a text watermark. Basically you can type in whatever you want here and change the fonts and have a watermark. So we're going to type Alt 0169 and get the copyright symbol and then I'm just going to type Gail Vihar Photography and then over here I can change the font sorry, the font to different options. I'm going to click this one. I can change whether I want it to be bold, italic, whatever I want it to be. It comes by default with a drop shadow. I can remove that or leave that on either way. And then I can come down here and change the opacity. So if how see-through I want it to be and I, how big I want it to be, how proportional I want it to be. And by clicking on proportional, it is in proportion to the size or length of the image. So if this was a vertical image, this goes, say, about um, two-thirds the way across. It would go about two-thirds the way across on the bottom of a vertical image. You can also adjust the inset, so how far it is inset both horizontally and vertically from the bottom and you can change where it's anchored and where it's anchored is just you know where it's hooked I guess. Anyway then I would just click Save I would give it a name and then wherever I wanted to use a watermark this would be available under that name. Now let's say I want to you make a graphic watermark. Um, I'm going to click on the little graphic icon over here and then I'm just going to pull up a, a box for me to open it. While we're doing this, let's talk really quickly about what your watermark needs to look like. Um, your watermark can be in color, it can be in black or white. Um, I prefer it to be in white, but if you would like your watermark to be full color on your images, you can do that as well. The one thing that you will need it to be is a PNG image with a transparent background. Um, JPEGs don't support transparency so there's no way for a JPEG to be transparent so what, however you have your logo it needs to be on a transparent background and saved as a PNG. Um, I have gone ahead and done that to my logo here and changed it to be white on a transparent background and saved as a PNG image. So I'm going to click on that and it's going to open and show up down here. Um, you're going to have several of the same effects that you had before. You can change the opacity to be 100% or you can dial that down just a little bit. You can decide how big and how or how proportional you want it to be to your image. We'll just leave it right there looks good on this image that way. I don't know if that's how I'll keep it, but then you can change how much you want it to be inset like we did before and where you want it anchored like we did before. And now I'm just going to click save. And I'm going to save this as Gail Vihar Photography and Graphic. I've already made one of that. I've done this a few times. We'll just save it under Gail V. Her Photography. <laughs> and then now, when wherever I want, um, wherever I have the option to put a watermark, it will be there. So let's just say on export, but this also works in the slideshow module, in a print module, wherever you want to place a watermark, it will be there. If I scroll down here, you see that I have the option to have a watermark. I just click on the little arrow, choose the one that I want, and then I would click export. And it would apply it on export. Remember, it also works for published services or anywhere else you can use a watermark. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and it's helped you out. And I'll see you later.